today I will be showing you how to get all these mods that I have here for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Um, if you do want them for Pokemon Shining Pearl, some of them are specifically only for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. When I got them from Game Banana, they would ask me if I had Pokemon Brilliant Diamond 111 or Shining and Pearl. Shining Pearl. So that means that these are most all of them are for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. They would not work for Shining Pearl. So you would have to use these names and look them up in Game Banana. But if you are using Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, then this in this guide you will actually see all these mods compile into a RAR file in the description below. So first off we have Battle Music Plus. That one is for, it changes the, the battles songs for the gym trainers, for gym leaders, for the gym leaders, the trainers battles, and it also changes the wild Pokemon battles to a different, to a different theme. The themes are very good and I feel like they're more of the, you know, they have more of the sounds of the original one than how the one we have right now with the 111. I don't know if you noticed that that update didn't really quite catch the songs, the themes of the original Pokemon Diamond. Then we have No Depth of Field plus Bloom Limit. With this one, there's a lot of people that have said that they get way better frame rates because there's no bloom. And if you have seen people call it the Vaseline screen, then this thing is actually what removes the Vaseline screen of your Pokemon game. Planet of Encounters, that means that if Ponita would appear in, would always appear in Terra Forest, and now it doesn't because you're playing Pokemon Diamond, but it did in Platinum, then you're gonna get that type of encounter. You're gonna get all the encounters that you got from Platinum in this game. Shiny Recolors, that one is, as uh, the example that I showed, is the Lucario is yellow when it's shiny. Now it won't be yellow. It has been recolored to look gray with white, white gray, silver style. And it looks way better than the yellow and blue one. Then you will need the update 111 for these, for these mods. You need update 1.1.1. For Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. If you do not have that, a lot of these won't work. And then we have the 60 frames per second one. I do not use it. I didn't get more frames with it. Maybe you will. It is in the pack. It is in the description below if you want it. Then follow early is that even as early as getting your Piplup, you will have your Piplup follow you. And follow early also includes that your Pokemon will follow you everywhere. That includes when you're going through the going through the um, towns and you have to go through this tiny path, like the hallway passages. They will be in the hallway passages. And they will be every single place, and they also follow you when you're using your bicycle. Items required and no items required. Those are for evolutions. There's Pokemon like Scyther that need to be holding a metal coat and then be traded to evolve into a scissor. Well, you don't need that here. You actually just have to give it the metal coat and then level him up one more level. Use a rare candy or go to the grass and level him up. And he will evolve into scissor. With the no, I with the no items required, that's the Pokemon that don't need items to evolve. So that means, example, my Gengar was a Haunter at level 35. They changed this, that with no items required, Gengar doesn't need, Haunter doesn't need to be traded. Haunter just needs to get to level 36 and he will evolve into Gengar. He will become a level evolving Pokemon, not a trading me Pokemon. And Mining X-Ray, that one is that when you're underground mining, you can see what you're going to mine. So if there was a fossil that you wanted and you see it there, now you can actually get it because you're seeing the outlines of it with Mining X-Ray mod. So these are all the mods 
burning though, your game might, it will not lag, it will not be slow, but when opening, your game will take a while because it's loading all of these updates, all of these mods. So if you don't want that, just decide the ones you really want to have and go with that. But if you do need all of them, and you need all of them on, because you can also disable them, go right click, properties, and you disable the ones that you're going you're not going to use and tap OK. If you really want all of them like me, then you just load your game like this. Just remember that it will take a while to actually load. For the latest early access, I'm not using it because I tried it, I was recording and it was glitching very badly. Like the characters were glitching all over the place, the colors were being weird, so I just didn't go with 2252. I'm still in 2248 early access. I do not know if the main bill is working better, but at least for 2252, I would not recommend it because it's doing that. As you can see, it's taking quite some time to load. And there we go, it loaded. Now I'm going to go into here and you can see that Luxury is still following me and here I do get 30 frames per second very well unlike 2252 that one is not a good update to rely on for now and if I'm on my bicycle Luxury is still following me it doesn't matter if I'm using a bicycle or not he will still follow me And as you can see, there's nothing blurry around, like, at all, caused by the Vaseline effect because of the mod. No DF, no depth of field, plus, no depth of field, plus bloom limit. It's just limiting the bloom. It didn't take it fully off. I think it was, like, at 75% in the description, so... That's what this mod is doing, and it looks so clean. And now, as you can see, Gengar Evolve at level 36 instead of me having to trade it. You could also do this with Pokehex if you have problems. All you gotta do in Pokehex is that when your Pokemon that you want to evolve is a counter, for example. You just go to Pokehex, type in latest OT, type in any name that's not yours, and just then you change the species to a Gengar and save. And it will actually just take it as you quite really truly traded it, even though it doesn't seem like it because you didn't do that. But Pokehex will emulate that you did trade it because it has a latest OT, which is the latest trainer. For the other Pokemon, there. Let's say we, I did have a scissor here, like a scyther. I could just give it a metal coat and it will evolve with that. And I'm going to demonstrate that I am using True Scale by showing how big Gengar, um, Gyarados looks. Gyarados used to look so tiny without the True Scale mod, and now he's extremely big here. If you have any questions or need help with this, just leave a comment down below or just write in the Discord channel. 
Thanks for watching.